my pleasure to yield two minutes to my friend from Ohio, Mr. Davidson. I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I thank uh, this body for still continuing the tradition of this opportunity to speak uh, and have uh, our voices heard. Uh, even though we're in the minority, we don't control the floor, we can't put our bills on the agenda to have a debate, often we can't even get an amendment considered on the bills. The Rules Committee strips out anything that would materially change a bill. Uh, and sadly, that's been a bipartisan approach to governing in this body. That's not a functioning legislature uh, when those kinds of things happening. And why is that important? Every member needs to have their voice heard. And they should be heard on this bill. This should be heard uh, whether this body wants to change our constitutional protections fundamentally. The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Uh, the majority doesn't seek to uh, amend the Constitution, but they seek to nullify that constitutional guarantee uh, with subterfuge. They say, this is a background check bill. Well, every commercial firearm transaction today already requires a, a background check. That doesn't matter whether you do it at a gun store, uh, at, at a gun show, at, at any other forum. If you buy a firearm from a commercial seller of firearms, a federal firearm license holder, you have to do a background check. You can't do it. Now, what does this do? It basically says if you want to even loan a gun to a family member to go on a hunting trip, you got to get a background check. Someone will be criminalized for doing that. You can't have private transfers. Essentially, the government says you can't be trusted to sell a firearm to anybody. You have to go to a licensed agent of the federal government. And how do they guarantee that? They guarantee that by creating a registry. Now, why should we be concerned about that? Well, that's the path towards seizing it. It doesn't guarantee that the government will do it. But let me tell you about a Supreme Court case that's right now. Under the Fourth Amendment, there's a clause that's been interpreted by court opinions to allow seizures for community care. Warrantless seizures of property. This goes with civil asset forfeiture, all kinds of abuses of warrantless surveillance. The Fourth Amendment, if we do not stand up and defend the Second Amendment today, it will be just as abused as the Fourth Amendment guarantee of privacy is today. We have to oppose this bill. The people of the United States of America are constitutionally guaranteed the right to keep and bear arms, and this body shall not infringe it and shall not be infringed without a constitutional amendment and that is not what's on the floor today. I urge everyone to oppose H.R. 8 and any such effort to deny American citizens the protections our Constitution guarantees. And I yield.